Well, here we are. are we almost at Let's let them talk. Yet? You have my thanks for saving me from the Minotaurs, but my feet are cursing you in at least 20 different languages. Be quiet, old man. Sir, my men have reported a host of undead between here and Esgard Tower. I dearly like to know where they're all coming from. It is most likely to do with this prophecy you spoke of. The sooner you get me to this tower of yours, the sooner I'll be able to tell you. Sir, I suggest we send a group of scouts to Esgard Tower for aid. It is not far, and we could use the help. And I say we fight the undead, instead of skulking around looking to avoid battle. Either way, could we hurry? This journey is taking forever. Alright, so you're the victory conditions. You have to get all the heroes up to the temple up there. Um, I brought... Now I'm on double speed, of course. Now I brought the, um, the Minotaur girl with me. Um, first I was searching around thinking that um, you might find mines here. And we might be able to build. But the search proved futile. So I just decided to take the chick with me. Because she's a pretty high level for that, you know. And of course, my hero's getting his ass kicked just by skeletons, which is pathetic. I didn't bring a healer with me this time. So I have to be very careful about some, um, like, taking damage. <clears throat> but she does have a good, a good attack. And she can, she can't tank very well. But she's a decent glass cannon. Especially because of her range right now. And her ability to one-shot weaker enemies. She becomes quite useful. I'm glad I brought her. Now she can't tank. She can't tank, but her alone can just wipe, just wipe these guys out pretty quick. So I, I kind of, I could go four times the speed, but I decided to just go twice the speed. Yeah, you can kind of hear them being their stupid chip, chip monkey self. Of course, all, all, all the Minotaur warriors restore their health by eating sheep, but she doesn't restore her health by attacking sheep. But I still decided to kill a few of them once in a while. Um, I don't know why. Probably because probably of the EXP, the one EXP you get from that. And I was trying to level her up. Get a, giving her one more level would have been nice. The problem is that she costs 10 points right now to bring, and I only have 10. And when she, if she levels up, I won't be able to actually bring her until I get more points to spend. It's a small price to pay, really. Uh, don't want to be able to take him over every couple missions, you know, get more points. Your hero levels up after missions. He gets a, a surge of EXP from each one. But he gets more EXP if he actually kills in battle. What I don't like about this game is that the only person who gets experience is the person who makes the kill. And that makes it quite difficult to... Um, actually level up certain characters because they need support to get EXP and usually they don't kill, get the kill. So that means that in order to get, let's say, level 10 archer, you would need to bring a bunch of archers, get one or two of them leveled up okay, then bring them with a bunch of noobs and just hope that their attacks kill and keep them in the back, you know, and just keep replacing everybody else and hope for the best because eventually they might get strong enough where their kill, their attacks do the most damage to do the um, death blow. Now, she has problems dealing with those, whatever you want to call them. She just leveled up right now, so now she's level 6. The Necromancer is, um... I, I guess that's what he's called. That that cloaked guy. She can take them on, but it's a little bit risky to do so. And I can't heal her. So, But she does do decent damage. But she took, like, just under half right there. And there's another one, and she obviously can't tank, so... I want to clear off all the little dudes, and here I am killing sheep, like, oh, come on, get some health back, but she doesn't, she doesn't. There's no point in killing the, 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 the fauna here, but I just did it anyway. She makes a great scout. Um, not as good a range as some enemies. Oh, I'm like, oh, fuck, now I gotta, I don't want to lose her. So I'm thinking, okay, am I going to get any reward if I come here without the heroes? And yes, they give you freaking ten knights. And the ten knights are basically all you need. <laughs> Actually, it's more than ten. It's twelve. And they're just gonna murder all the dudes. If I had brought a white wizard, that would have been better for this part. But it was good that I brought her along to scout up ahead. Because the map here is not very large. And there is an enemy hero around here, right there. An enemy hero has been killed. Yeah. 
So, and then these guys, though, create a problem. They, they do kill a couple of these knights, but since they were free, I don't really care. I'm just cleaning them out. I could have probably brought her along for the most part and one-shot all these and give her even more EXP. Probably should have done that, because, see, they can't kill the birds, but those aren't leveled up birds. Those aren't um, improved birds. And so she can't. She could, they, they, don't, they don't attack. They just scout. Now, I'm looking for towers to kill. Because these guys are, obviously, we know that they're the good tankers for sucking up damage. And they have decent attacks for us buildings. So here I am. She'll kill the birds. I'm like, okay, kill the whatever he is. I'll call him a necromancer for now, even though I don't think he is one. But even as the tower is harassing my knights, dropping a few, some of them are leveling up, which gives you a little bit more hit points. I'm like, okay, just take these guys out. I still have all 12 knights, but I'll lose one or two. Yeah, see right there? Dead. You want to check out all this area. And I'm like, okay, we'll just get more EXP right there. Yeah. Problem is, you don't want to blindly click on the tower to, to attack them, because then the enemies clog up that passageway. You can't get around them. And they're not dynamic enough to attack enemies along the way. Some RTSs give you that option. Some of the Command and Conquer games, especially, as you're having a convoy of tanks going from one end to the other, you can have them set to an AI where they'll attack along the way, but they won't veer from the course they're set. That's actually quite useful. And I wish, I wish, this game had that. So I'm checking the victory conditions. Okay, got to bring all the heroes over. So we're basically done. I already cleared the way. This is a very short mission, actually. Maybe it's made shorter because I brought the chick along. I don't know, because she actually turned out to be a pretty decent scout. But, um, this is going to be a pretty short episode. But it's bite-sized. There's a quest there to kill ten enemies, but I can't get it because I basically killed everybody anyway. So, we won. Yay! Alright. So, there's the victory conditions, and, you know, if you care about the stats, blah, blah, blah. I didn't click on the hero thing. I don't know if you can or not. But these, all these missions are basically just... Glorified tutorials to help you level up, so you learn new skills. Um, chapter 5, learn new skills. And so, I don't know, I, I peruse them a little bit, and I decide what I kind of want. I do like the uh, training there, because it gives you, I think it's training, because it gives you more ability points that level up. But here I am considering, well, I only have four points anyway, so I can't really do anything. And I'm reading some of them. And some of these effects are okay. But you have to get a pretty high level in order to really make your hero stand out. And in World War Battlecry 2 and in 3, you could sell relics you find um, between missions. I used to do the skirmishes all the time for that. Um, but here, I don't have the option yet to sell relics. And that's kind of disappointing, because the story mode seems a bit short. I think this game doesn't have a large... There's one AP for all these, and I have four AP. So I'm considering just grabbing all the spells. Um, I didn't know what that black portal did. It says it makes summoning easier. So if you summon it and then use your mana for other things. They don't seem to last long, or they seem to go away after you leave. I don't know for sure. But I still have one ability point. And, heh. The pro oh, when he's, he's brought there, the cutscene you're going to get is black. Because there's a problem displaying these cinematics in this game with my computer. Again, this is an old game, so compatibility problems are bound to arise. Just, you know, so it's nothing spectacular to be like, oh, well, you, you can't view the cutscenes. Well, no, I can't. Um, but I can, st the audio comes through, just not the video. So, and the gameplay works. Does occasionally crash. Gotta keep that in mind. But it's kind of a small price to pay, I guess. A ten minute episode, that's kind of short. We're not quite at ten minutes yet, but, you know. I'm still checking them out, and I think I just go with training. Um, but, or I just leave it. And see, now she's like level, now she's level six. Uh, Thirteen, you know, she's pretty beefy now for just a regular sorceress. 